Okay, let's set up, set up your uh, drive mode on the city blaze park uh, from AT&T. Let's go and open the drive mode application. Um, okay, and let's go to settings. And let's go to start with auto replay. Auto replay is um, text message and phone calls. Okay, customize your auto replay. Is the message that you want your message sender to receive. Um, like you you have already here something um, but you can actually change that message by touching the uh, window and then when you're ready with the message just uh, save and go back then drive mode invite you can invite your family and friends from your contacts here um, for them to receive a link to download um, drive mode invite Okay, home screen. Your home screen uh, allow list. So of course you're gonna allow your uh, 911, and you can wanna add a contact to for them to allow you to receive a call. Just enter the contact name and um, enter their phone number. Let's create a fake one and then save. And you're gonna appear here. Okay, you wanna remove it? Just touch the arrow and delete contact. Okay, music and navigation. You can allow to use music while you're driving. Just you can check Google Play or FM radio or just move music from your phone. Uh, so then when you plug in your headphones, they're gonna allow you to listen music. So once you have the, the desired option, just touch save. Uh, Google Maps, of course, you need to allow Google Maps so you can navigate. Uh, when you're driving, so just uh, save. Uh, choose a photo, you can actually change this, but you can keep it. It's just uh, tap the screen to allow you to upload a picture that you want to have. Okay, parental alerts, um, parent set up parental alerts. So enter the phone number and two phone numbers and a password to. To, for you to uh, control and, and allow them to receive. Okay, so let alerts, tap alerts for details. Okay, so um, drive, if drive mode is disabled while on, the driver has full access to their phone and can send a text message. A text message will be sent that drive mode has been disabled. Okay, so actually, um, you have any kids that they you can install by safe drive on their phone smartphone so if they are they are like this has they are you receive a text message when they are uh, disabled or or turn this feature off this is what it means the drive mode disable okay so you want to receive a notification here when they actually exit the application and um, yeah the uh, drive mode feature uh, so you may call them hey um, so are you done driving Did you get to your destination or something so just to make sure that they are um, obeying the rules I think <laughs> so alright so anything in these options just um, uh, check check everything um, so every time they do any movements on their uh, application, you're going to receive a notification, okay? GPS disable, of course, if you want them to use GPS, also uh, don't check this. Allow list contact added. Uh, so you can actually allow your kids to add certain phone numbers um, to receive uh, alerts, call alerts or text message alerts when they are driving. Certainly they know that it's important or they can pull over and check it or something. Okay, so just uh, you want to add that, just check the other 911 call or text. This is very important. So, yeah, so just, uh, yeah, so you also will receive a text message saying that, hey, on that phone number, um, they have called 911 or text. So. So it's really, really um, important here that you check every single, well, the ones that you need, you need, the field that you need. And when you are ready, just uh, press save, okay, to, 
Okay, so right now because I didn't enter any phone number here, so they won't let me to save. I you will um, allow to use to save. So okay, so we're done with the setup parental alerts, uh, auto mode. So when drive mode is automatically when you go 15 miles per hour, um, I will turn off. Okay, and okay. So actually, when this this feature is on. That means that when you just start driving more than 50 miles per hour, the the drive mode automatically will will be activated. So, okay, so just um, leave it on, or you don't want that happen, but you have you decide when to activate the drive mode. So just uh, leave it off, and you just have to open the application and turn on, or just leave it on so you can. Uh, in case that you forget about it or something right so bluetooth um, allow incoming calls via bluetooth if you want to do that just check the uh, box there um, you need to know more information about this just go to more information about at and okay and all right so this is uh, basically we finish and when you are done just touch that it's very important you touch that in order to uh, in order to save everything that you select and let's go and turn on okay so now we this is basically the right mode application set it up so you are, are allowing to use your music music and or well, you can record with that one and you're also allowed to open Google Maps, okay? And you need a Google application, I mean, a email address for that. And um, to make a call, so this is a 911 emergency, but also any phone number and parental controls that you save, you want it's gonna appear here, okay? So, all right, and when you are on, on drive mode, so every time you want to open um, a application, the drive mode automatically want to show up. Okay, It'll remind you that you are driving. So, in but if you turn this feature off, that means that you're done. Just open the application and um, yeah, you can use your phone at this point. Okay, so I think that's it. If you have any other questions, let me know in comments and please subscribe to my channel so you can have my tutorials as a reference in the future. And please visit smart, um, insightcoach.com to learn about this uh, soccer smart ball um, for your kids. Uh, it's very, very convenient. It's a technology that they can actually download an application on their tablet or iPad, and they will be able to track their uh, progress uh, on this soccer. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for your choosing my video.